So, hi. Uh, hi. We are going to talk about uh, air quality and medicines and uh, uh, NGOs in China. And uh, my first question, uh, could you maybe explain a little bit about uh, the role that medicines uh, play and have played around the topic of, of air quality in China? Okay, um, very interesting relevant question. Um, I think for many people outside of China, um, they still consider China as an information poor country. Mm -hmm. um, but the situation already changed dramatically over the last few years. And uh, this kind of uh, increasing access to information, mm -hmm. it, to be more specific, environmental in information actually employed many uh, individuals or in general the public to participate. Mm -hmm. uh, in different ways at different ages of environmental policy making in China. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the, this kind of change should be uh, better understood against the background of uh, what's going on in China uh, in terms of uh, institutional change over the past 40 years. Yeah. Because, in general, the overall uh, institutional environment become, uh, let's say, more flexible. Mm -hmm. uh, allowing or creating more space for participation of non government organizations mm -hmm. or individuals. Mm -hmm. but here in China, uh, we encountered also the era of informatization and the big data. Mm -hmm. So suddenly mm -hmm. you see China had, had this kind of big power advantage and become, I, I may not be able to say information good environment, but definitely uh, all governments and even uh, the public have to deal with a complex situation in terms of information. Air yeah. uh, pollution become also one of the top issues of concern yeah. for the public, only yeah. a very short history. Yeah. Yeah. So the first uh, general public debates on that, uh -huh. I should go back to the year 2008 when China yeah. uh, hosted the Olympic Games. Yeah. Um, this kind of um, mega event uh, could be very good attractor of this kind of uh, ideas, green ideas. Yeah, yeah. So oh, never, never. yeah that event yeah. actually helped um, promotion of all kinds of ideas around uh, sustainability. Yeah, yeah. And uh, especially when foreigners coming to Beijing they realize the differences huh? uh -huh. uh, in air quality. But for many local residents that was not really an issue at that moment. Yeah. And uh, the pollutants like PM 2.5 was not even one of the index for air quality. Yeah. So it, it was not monitored, it was not really discussed. Um, but very soon after that, uh, everybody were uh, recognizing these uh, problems mm -hmm. and the uh, health effects were increasingly mm -hmm. observed. Yeah. And many people just felt it. I had friends, for example, uh, just cannot stand it and had to move to other uh, better cities <laughs> uh, for work. That was a difficult yeah. decision actually for many people working or living in Beijing. Yeah. Just to yeah. say goodbye to Beijing, it's not easy. Yeah. Uh, of course, when the public realized that it will take another 20 years, then uh, obviously it's uh, necessary and realistic take individual measures yeah. to protect yourself yeah. as, as much as possible. Yeah. Although yeah. our research uh, observing in Beijing uh, revealed that uh, many people didn't really trust. I mean, these measures are effective, but still they had to do something. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's an interesting uh, phenomenon. Yeah. But sometimes you see um, the public have really more uh, means to participate online yeah. and this was not possible for example five years ago wow. before WeChat was really widely used uh, in yeah. China only last couple of years uh -huh. you see many uh, public uh, WeChat accounts were devoted to environmental topics like almost like uh, any environmental subjects you can think of uh -huh. you can find a WeChat public account yeah. And if you uh, are participating in this WeChat, 
uh, account, you, you are able to get those information, the latest policy developments, technologies, and the debates, yes. because uh, the information was generated or provided by all kinds of users. Uh -huh. um, and also, you can participate mm -hmm. online. Yeah. You can also Discuss express things. yourself. Yeah. yeah, it's a way. Uh, and also, they organize events offline. So it's combined, yeah. Uh -huh. So it's very easy to meet offline yeah. as well. But you see already um, increasing pressure felt by the government. For example, um, before you are able to clarify, to explain, since all information are already everywhere, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it takes really much more time and energy to clarify things. Yeah. Um, so I think in, in general, you see. Uh, this kind of institutional space uh -huh. for participation of non-government actors yeah. uh, has been increased. Yeah. Um, but also, uh, I'll say, um, both sides, uh, from the government and non-government actors, are trying to understand each other better uh -huh. and to identify where we can cooperate yeah. with this kind of environment, uh, information environment. Um, government cannot deny the first existence of this kind of organizations, their influence, uh, and also uh, they recognize the importance yeah. of this kind of roles because the government also takes on wise to take all the responsibilities. Yeah. yeah, and especially for environmental problems, it's not possible. But we should look at participation and. Uh, information disclosure uh, at different stages of policy yes. making. Yes. That's very important. So you may participate in the making process, but you may better participate in the implementation or supervision. So all kinds of roles. Yeah. So we don't really um, ignore those things happening in the process. That's unfair. Mm -hmm. Because if you, 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 your work are not really um, leading to a different policies or laws, decisions at the end, but you already change many, many things and people. Yeah. So thank you very much. My pleasure. Uh, for this uh, very interesting uh, thoughts on the citizens and air quality and uh, the, the public participation in policy making. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.